In our travels throughout the universe, we have met many peculiar creatures from a wide range of mysterious worlds. But today, we are going to be traveling back to an era forgotten by time, to explore the ruins of a dead race and examine their ancient technologies. We are going directly into the lives of the Monitors. If you've been to just about any planet in our galaxy, you'll have likely discovered some of this crap. These are Forerunner Ruins. If you're not familiar with the Forerunners, I have employed the services of a local singer to give you a musical recap. They're dead. Dead. Very, very dead. The Forerunners were responsible for countless technological marvels that we still discover to this day, including this thing, that thing, and whatever the hell that's supposed to be. Nevertheless, Forerunner creations were not just limited to unusually shaped tower blocks, and in an effort to preserve their tribute to Picasso, they created machines that would protect their structures from harm. These machines would manifest in the form of Sentinels, Prometheans, and of course, Monitors. While these annoying little things are extremely intelligent, their design is relatively simplistic. They resemble a chrome football with a light bulb taped to the face. Monitors are curious little creatures that spend most of their time tending to their installations while they wait for the return of either their masters or alien races. Communication with monitors has been difficult. Upon first contact, they seem far more concerned with explaining protocol than they are greeting. Hi there, I'm Robert Brown. I'm a cameraman with CBB HDTV BCBB. Uh, we're here to film a documentary on you guys. We're hoping to get some shots with you doing your daily activities. Oh my, no, that would be against protocol. Why would that be against protocol? Protocol dictates that in a first contact scenario, I, the designated monitor of Installation 92, must disregard your presence and cease all communications. Of course, Protocol 1 can be overwritten by Protocol 13, which dictates that in the event of an unexpected arrival, the designated monitor may only communicate with alien visitors if challenged to a rap battle. However, under the Let's get the f out of here. This one's broken. Each monitor is created by the forerunner device known as the Composer. The Composer acts as a way of turning biological matter into glorified computer viruses. Personally, I'm not quite sure how the science behind this works, but it sounds fascinating. And thanks to the Forerunner's habit of casually leaving weapons of mass destruction just lying about, we get to test it. This is Ian. Ian is some sort of YouTube blogger, which is wonderful, but it also means that nobody would care if he went missing in a science experiment gone wrong. Wait, excuse me? Hush, Ian. There is science to be done. Now, how do we make this thing work? Maybe push this button over here. Ooh. Bugger. Despite the Composer having the ability to graft a living being into a cold and heartless light bulb, a monitor can be artificially created, but they aren't as intelligent as a composed being. Excuse me, sir. Uh, ma'am? I'm Robert with CBBHDTV BCBB, and I'd like to get some I shots up. I am the monitor of installation beep beep boop bop, and I am here to protect the taters. I quit. Every important Forerunner installation has a monitor that tends to its needs. For example, if for whatever reason an installation is damaged, the local monitor will dispatch Sentinel Retrievers to the nearest planet to go and totally steal all their resources. On my planet, this is what is known as a dick move. With that said, it may sound like a prestigious position to guard such ancient technology, when all is said and done, each monitor is technically nothing more than a security guard.
Is anyone there? I can't feel my legs. Or arms. Or face. Shit, I can't feel anything. Somebody please give me a hand! This is the last time I trust a Craigslist ad.